So I received a comment on one of my videos from a viewer regarding John uh, chapter 10, verse 26, where it says, uh, But uh, Jesus said, But ye believe not, because ye are not of my sheep, as I said unto you. So he wanted to know what is meant by this phrase, Ye are not of my sheep. So let us just quickly read uh, in John chapter 10. Let's begin in verse 23. And Jesus walked in the temple in Solomon's porch. Then came the Jews round about him and said unto him, How long dost thou make us to doubt? If thou be Christ, tell us plainly. Now, verse 25, Jesus answered them, I told you, and you believed not. The works that I do in my Father's name, they bear witness of me. So basically the Jews came to ask him, you know, are you Christ? Are you the Messiah? Are you the prophet that we've been waiting for? Now, of course, this has been proven uh, to them right from the very moment of Christ's birth. You know, when the angel of the Lord came and pronounced his birth to the shepherds to the time that the wise men came and they say, you know, where is he that is born king of the Jews? Okay, all the miracles that Jesus did. Yeah, these were all witnessing to the people that he is the Christ. So Jesus said, yes, I told you. He said, you asked me, I am the Christ. I've told you, yes, I am. But you have believed not. This is where, this is the important part here as to who is, who are the sheep, who are the children of Christ, of Jesus, of God, and who are not. It is everything to do with faith. These teachings that, you know, they always try to make this teaching such as this, where Jesus said, ye are not of my sheep. People try and twist this to make it, to have, give it some meaning as relates to the body, that in the body there are children of the devil and the children of God and all that. But in the Bible, it is the inner person who believes that is how we become the children of God. It has got nothing to do with the outer man, the body. The body is going to perish whether you are going to be born again and eventually saved and you know come into have the promise of salvation fold in your life or not. It doesn't matter because the body is going to perish. So it is not the body that Jesus is speaking about here. So let's continue reading. Jesus answered them, I told you, and you believed not. Okay, let's see. The works that I do in my Father's name, they bear witness of me. So he said, you know, the evidence that I am the Christ is right in front of your face, but you don't believe it. But you believe not, verse 26. Again, he told them you didn't believe it. And then he repeats that, but ye believe not because you are not of my sheep. Ye are not of my sheep as I said unto you. Okay. My sheep hear my voice. Does it say my sheep have a special type of body or a special lineage or a special type of blood? No, he didn't say that. He said my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. Jesus said in John, in this very book of John, in chapter 8, verses 31 and 32, I believe, if you continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. So a disciple is one who follows. A disciple is a sheep. Okay, The sheep, they become disciples. And we become disciples by continuing in the word of God. We continue in the word of God because we believe in Jesus. But those who do not believe in Jesus, how can they follow him? Okay, So these people, these Jews that came to Jesus to ask him this question, tell us plainly, Jesus said, well, not only have I told you all these signs, all these testimony my father himself is giving of me to you day and night, is in front, right in front of you, yet you believe not. In verse 25, you be believe not. Verse 26, and ye believe not. Okay, verse 27, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. But you are not of my sheep. Why? Because you believe not. You do not hear my voice. You do not obey me. You do not follow me. Okay. So if a shepherd is leading his flock out into the pasture 
it is the sheep that are going to follow him that are going to find the pasture they are his sheep because they know and recognize his voice and they are confident they have faith in that shepherd and that's why they follow him but sheep you know if a stranger comes then in you know, his voice they do not hear they don't know his voice so i guess it's very clear from the context of what jesus said himself that it is only those sheep that hear his voice and follow him that are his sheep that are his children okay that are god's children so these jews they did not hear the voice of jesus because he said i told you but you didn't believe me my father spoke he is doing all these marvelous works through me he is giving evidence he is bearing witness of me but you don't believe it you don't hear him either so therefore you are not my sheep okay in order to be his sheep you have to hear him and you have to believe him and you have to follow him so you know although people try and make this verse of scripture to mean that it is something related to the body they try to connect it to genesis 6 to mean you know about the bloodlines and noah and such it has nothing to do with the body the body of anyone whether they believe in jesus or not they are going the but this body of flesh and blood is going to perish okay jesus did not come to save this body he came to save the person that lives inside the body it is the person that lives inside the inner man that hears the voice of jesus and comes to have faith in him and believes in him and it is through faith that he becomes a child of god he becomes the sheep of the fold whose shepherd is jesus christ you can read that in galatians 3 chapter 3 verse 7 for example know you therefore this is quite plain here know you therefore that they which are of faith the same are the children of abraham okay he doesn't say he even explained here that the physical lineage whether it's coming from noah whether it's coming from abraham which these jews were very proud that they were the physical descendants of abraham and therefore they were entitled to all the promises of abraham but paul explained no that is not the case you may have a physically descended from him but that does not allow you access into life you have to have faith faith in who faith in jesus to have faith what does that mean you have to hear his voice you have to hear the word of god you have to believe it and you have to follow it in galatians 3:26 again it tells us for ye are all the children of god by faith in jesus christ okay that's what makes one a sheep so when jesus told these jews that you are not of my sheep it is he was not pointing anything at all to their physical descendancy or you know who was their father and who wasn't their father whether cain was their father or the devil is their father and all that the devil is their father because they did not believe not because of their body okay that is a false teaching so this is the meaning of john 10:26 ye are not of my sheep it is those only those who have faith in jesus christ who hear him who continue in his word who become his disciples who are going to receive the promise of abraham which is eternal life through jesus christ in the future they are it not the others who may have claimed that you know i have i am descended from so and so abraham is my father david is my father you know whatever whoever they can claim to be their father to say to god you know yes i am descended from him god is saying your body where your body comes from is really of no meaning of no value whatsoever it is your faith that makes you my sheep that is how i understand it and uh, you know i've done many teachings on these false stories about the bloodline of noah that his blood was somehow pure when it wasn't because noah died any man that dies has death in his blood in the body noah's body was just as mortal and corrupt as that of any man since adam that's why any man that is born of a man father of a male father has death working in him that includes noah that includes abraham that includes every person that ever lived except jesus christ because he was not born of a male father so you know if this person is trying to imply 
this meaning of this, you know, you're not of my sheep, is something to do with the physical, uh, the bodily, you know, descendancy or lineage, then I disagree with that interpretation. I think Jesus himself quite clearly explained it in that passage that they, they were not his sheep because they did not hear his voice, they did not believe in him, they did not believe his words, nor did they believe the testimony which God himself, the Father himself, was giving of him and be bearing witness to through him, through his works. They didn't believe that. That is how faith, you know, you are the children of God by faith in Jesus Christ, not because of who your bodily father is. Well, I hope that answers the question that uh, verse 26 of chapter 10 of John, ye are not of my sheep, uh, meant that the Jews that were questioning Jesus, you know, when he had plainly told them that he was the Christ, he is the sent one. He is whom the Son of God, he said that in more than one occasion, you know, yet they refused to believe him. They not just do not believe his words, but also the works that the Father himself was doing through him. About we really read in this very book of John that so many, so great were those works that if they were all written down, the world itself could not contain the books that would be written. So yes, in context, it was quite clear from Jesus, you know, speaking about them, ye believe not, ye believe not, that it is everything to do with faith. You are the children of God by faith in Jesus Christ, and these Jews did not have the faith, and therefore they were not his sheep. Shepherd's calling you to him, to rest in him, to sup with him. So open wide your heart to him, surrender will bring his peace within. Shepherds calling you to him, to rest in him, to sup with him.